Okay, so sometimes you're working with a mesh like this and you want to make it bend like this. So you try to do a bevel and then it looks really bad. So I'm going to show you how you actually uh, do this. So first up, these edges here, where you place these, these matter. Okay, this edge and this edge. They need to be pretty much perfectly squared, right? So you can turn on uh, absolute grid snapping when you're orbiting, hit alt, jump into a top view. Okay. And so once you place those correctly, this isn't such a big deal. Uh, you can actually press control B and yours will come in looking more like this. Okay. It'll, it'll look something like that. Change the width type to percentage. And then you do it again. Okay. And this is the trick. It's not going to look right. The topology is weird unless you max it out. So that's why they have to be evenly spaced. Like you're making a square more or less between these two. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. That's just how that works. Okay. Uh, here's the thing about it though. I oftentimes in my videos do it a different way. And some of you have seen this, but let me go ahead and delete this. Little. I'll grab this and this. These are open faces. There's no face in the middle there, right? I'll hit Control E and I'll bridge edge loops. And I'll turn up the number of cuts here. And normally this is maxed out to one. And this is what you'll get. Okay. Uh, the answer is 0.6 for the smoothness. And as long as they're evenly spaced apart, it does the exact same thing. Okay. And it's kind of up to you on which one you want to use. Personally, I just bridge edge loops on everything. Uh, that's it. That's really what I do. Most everything. So maybe, maybe um, a little faster to use bevel, perhaps. But I don't like fiddling with bevel too much. So, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Show you that real quick.